You must have heard about dimming the lights to conserve energy. But have you ever thought about doing it for birds? Dim the lights for birds at night is the theme for World Migratory Bird Day 2022, which focuses on light pollution and its impacts on migratory birds. More than 80% of the world's population is estimated to live under a lit sky today. In Europe and North America, this increases to about 99%. Artificial light is increasing by about 2% every year on this planet. According to an article published in Science Daily, which studied the brightest areas of the northeast US, scientists found more birds as they got closer to these cities. Since the sky glow of these cities was so strong, the birds could spot these lights till about 200 kilometers. Apart from birds, light pollution wastes energy, disrupts human sleep, obstructs starlight, and disturbs natural ecosystems. Interestingly, preserving natural darkness is just as important as preserving clean water, air, and soil. There are patterns of light and darkness in nature, just like we have patterns of sleep and waking. Every year, light pollution kills millions of migratory birds and affects their migratory patterns, communication, and quest for food. Especially while flying at lower altitudes, birds get attracted to artificial light at night, get disoriented, and end up depleting their energy reserves when they should be crossing over a certain territory at that time. This also puts them at the mercy of predators and increases risks of collisions with buildings. Some nocturnally migrating birds include ducks, geese, plovers, sandpipers, and songbirds. Seabirds like petrels and shearwaters get attracted to artificial light on land and fall prey to different predators. A recent study published by the American Ornithological Society estimates that between 100 million and 1 billion birds are killed every year in the US because of collisions with buildings. In fact, Birds vocalize more when they become disoriented, which attracts more flocks to the light. There are three major geographical areas, including breeding and non-breeding grounds, covered by migratory birds over the course of their annual cycle, also known as flyways. America's flyway connects the high Arctic to the Tierra del Fuego. African Eurasian flyway connects Europe and Central Asia to tropical Africa. East Asian Australasian flyway connects the Palearctic comprising Europe, North Africa and Asia which is north of the Himalayas with the Indian subcontinent and Arctic Russia and North America to New Zealand. Apart from this, there is the circumpolar flyway where birds migrate within the Arctic circle. But light pollution is not beyond repair. There are some solutions to mitigate light pollution and conserve a depleting variety of migratory birds. In 2020, the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals recommended six principles to establish good lighting practices. The new guidelines will be recommended in 2023. The considerations for these should be the main sources of light pollution in an area, the type of wildlife impacted, and how close these areas are to migratory pathways. In many cities in North America, business owners and residents are encouraged to put out unnecessary lights during migratory periods. World Migratory Bird Day is celebrated on the second Saturday of May and October every year. There are two days earmarked for this to highlight the importance of the cyclical nature of bird migration, as well as the fact that bird migration peaks are different in the southern and northern hemispheres.